guys and welcome back to my channel. It has been well over a year at this point and I'm just kind of glad to jump back on here and just like talk to you guys and film a tutorial basically. This is Chewy. I'm sure some of you guys remember Chewy. He's four years old. He's just a little cutie. I'm sure a lot of you guys see him in my Instagram story and he's just the funniest little dog ever. So he's just gonna sit back there because he wants to sleep and be lazy. So today I'm going to be filming a Christmas glam look for you guys. It's super simple for people that don't like to wear like a lot of makeup so this is gonna be for those or for the people that are lazy like me. I hate getting ready, so something simple is like my go-to. So that is what we're going to do today. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using my Hourglass Mineral Vel Primer. And this is great for all skin types. So if you're oily, combination, normal, dry skin, I have dry skin. And I've used this on a variety of skin types, and it works very well. And it looks a little funny until it's like all rubbed in, but... It looks like I'm just rubbing sunscreen basically, but I preferably like to like wipe it down just because that way it like evenly fills in the pores so that your canvas is as smooth as possible if that makes sense. Okay, so for foundation, I am going to be using the Tarte Amazon Clay Foundation and this is literally the lightest shade out of the line because I am pale during the winter. It's like legit crazy like how pale I get during the winter. This foundation is not ideal for dry skin. Just putting it out there. It works great for if you have oily skin and combination skin. It works amazing for you guys. But for dry skin, it's not ideal, but I just love the formula and I add oil to it to make it work for my skin type. So that's basically what I'm doing. I'm going to be using my Morphe Beauty Blender to blend everything out. And for oil, I'm going to be using the Josie Marin Argan Oil to mix with my foundation. I'm just squeezing my foundation onto my Beauty Blender and I'm just going to like blend it in and then I'll add my oil afterwards. And I'm just gently like patting this into the skin i'm not like going crazy like this i'm just gently patting this into my skin if your foundation is like a shade or two off i usually will just blend it down my neck so that it'll try to match better with my skin tone okay so now i'm going ahead and go up I might look like a ghost until like I'm completely done doing this tutorial. I'm still like learning like my light situation and everything, so trial and error guys. Alright, so I'm gonna be using my Tarte Creaseless Concealer to put underneath like my eyes and my T-zone and everything like that. Not that I need any more highlighting, but I'm just gonna be adding some concealer underneath my eyes. Down the nose, Cupid's bow, underneath my nose, I get really red right there, so, and then I put it under the chin, and then uh, right here. That's usually where I add my concealer to highlight my face, so we're just going to blend everything in with that Morphe Beauty Blender, you guys. And usually I will take this concealer and bring it on my eyelid as well just because I feel like I really like this concealer with my eyeshadows like it just like makes the blending and everything so much more smoother so oh, I really do look like a fucking ghost okay and to set the concealer I'm going to be taking my covergirl FX setting powder in the shade translucent light so I'm just going to take my Morphe Beauty Blender again while it's damp. And I'm just going to let it bake a little bit. 
just so I know it's not gonna budge or anything. And baking also helps with like the wear time of the foundation. I don't think this is adding to my own. Could look nothing more like a ghost than I do right now. Basically, tilling. I'm sure I will figure out like my lighting situation and everything soon. I mean, everything else doesn't look bad except I just look pale as fuck. So, me being pale it does not help at all, you know? So, I'm just gonna take that loose leftover translucent powder and I'm just gonna take my Morphe brush and I'm just gonna like dust that off and around to the other parts of my face to set the rest of my foundation just ever so lightly. Alright, so the next thing I'm gonna do is contour the rest of my face. So for contouring, I'm going to be using the Morphe Highlight and Contour Palette. And this is the Lo-Fi Palette, so it has the lighter shades in this palette. Like this palette is just like seriously so beautiful, like these highlights and everything. Oh my goodness. I'm going to be using the shade literally just to warm up my face. And then I'm going to use the shade Donut to contour my face. And I'm just going to be using that same brush that I used to wipe off all the excess powder. I'm going to dip into the shade literally and warm up my face. I don't look as much of a ghost anymore. What? So now I'm going to take that darker shade, Donut. It is like a cool toned contour shade. And I'm just gonna stick that right where I would contour. My dog is snoring, you guys. And it's better to start off like light with these products and not just like go heavy because it's easier to add than it is to take away. So I'm just going to take this brush from BH Cosmetics to contour my nose. And this is like my absolute favorite brush for nose contouring. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take the shade Donut and just run that along the sides and contour my nose. And there's like a whole lot of different methods for nose contouring, just depending on your type of nose and everything. So, you can find a lot of videos on YouTube about nose contouring and just finding which one is specific to your nose shape and just follow that guideline. And then I took a little bit under here just to kind of help slim out the nose a little bit. So now that we have that line kind of defined, we're going to go ahead and blend that in. And I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Lyric from the Kat Von D contour palette. We're just going to help blend everything in. So I normally take a line down the middle and then up against the sides. And then I'll work it into that contour shade and just blend it. And you just want to make sure that when you're doing your nose contour that you don't have any harsh lines. So you want to make sure that you soften those lines out as smooth as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to doing my brows real quick before I do my eyes. I'm going to try my best to capture it on video, but I do have a brow tutorial from last year. It's still, it's not the best quality, but it's pretty good information. So if you guys want to check that out, it'll be in my playlist for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and use my trusty old Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. And mine is in the shade Ebony to go with my dark ass hair. 
So to go ahead and do my eyebrows, I'm going to take my Morphe Inkled brush and I'm going to dip into my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. So basically, when I am doing my brows, I create three dots. So this is where it's going to start. This is where the arches should be. And this is where the end of the tail would be. So I just put the slightest dot at each of those points. And I take a line underneath. Take it to the, from one dot to the other, from one dot to the other on the tail, and I do the same with the top part until I have my brow created. That's just basically what I'm doing when I create my brows. And I'm just going to do that off camera just because it's a little tedious and I don't think that I'm going to capture everything in the frame. Okay, so we're back. Looks a little intimidating. But I promise everything will come together. And then now we're just going to dive into the eyes portion of this look. Which is very simple. I am just going to do a neutral with gold shimmer for this holiday look. And I'm going to be using the BH Cosmetics Carly by Bell palette. And I'm going to be jumping in to this shade and this shade for my neutral. And then I'm going to use this shade for my gold shimmer. I'm just going to grab one of my blending brushes from Morphe. And I'm going to dip into this lighter shade for my transition. And I'm going to set that into my crease. So, And like I said, when you're blending, you want to be as light as possible. So when you're dipping into a shade, tap off the excess. So that when you're going on, that you don't just like drop straight pigment onto your eye because then it'll be harder to blend out. So just make sure that you start off light. You're just going to make sure that you drag it from this end to this end, blending it out. And then if you feel that you need to deepen it up a little bit, then you can go ahead and add more of that color. And now I'm just going to like drag this onto the outer third of my eye. And I'm still using that same shade. I haven't jumped to the other neutral yet. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and jump into this darker shade. And I'm mainly going to keep this on the outer corner of my eye. I'm not going to like drag it in all the way like I did with the last shade. I just want to create a little bit of depth in the shadow. I'm just going to do the same thing with the other side. Okay, so once that you have everything blended out to your liking, we're going to go ahead and set the gold in the inner lid of our eyes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this lighter matte shade and I'm just going to kind of do it like as I would like a cut crease just to kind of clean up that inner corner so that we can lay our gold glitter on it. And to apply that glitter, I'm going to use my Morphe setting spray to kind of enhance the shimmerness of it. So I'm just going to set that on my inner eye. We're going to do the same thing with the other side. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and take those two transition shades that we used earlier and I'm just going to use that to do my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take that darker transition shade that I used earlier and I'm just going to keep this on the outer third. And then I'm going to take that gold shade that we used earlier on the inner corner and I'm just going to put that right here on my the corner of my tear ducts. All 
Alright, so before I go ahead and complete my eyes with mascara and lashes and things like that, I'm going to go ahead and apply some highlighter using the Morphe Lo-Fi palette again. And I'm going to dip into a golden highlight. I'm going to use Supernova right here to highlight my cheeks. And I'm going to use this highlighting brush from Morphe to do that. And then I'm going to add the white highlight on top of that and that is called a Stardust. And I really love this shade. It's just so gorgeous and it has like this pinkish purple iridescent undertone to it. And it's just gorgeous. Like. And then I'm just going to take Stardust on my finger and I am going to dot the nose. Alright, so I'm just going to do a quick rundown of what I did off camera. Alright, so I went ahead and tight lined my lower lash line and my waterline with the Maybelline Eye Studio in Blackest Black. And this is a gel eyeliner, so that's what I used. And for lashes, I used the Eyler Wispies, and this is in the number 117. This is literally like my favorite lash to use. It's gentle on the eyes, it's not like super heavy. I have like really sensitive eyes so the glue that they have with it doesn't irritate my eyes because when I use like other glues like the duo lash glue it just makes my eyes like super watery and then the lashes won't stay on so that's why I really like the idler lashes so we're gonna go ahead and do the lips next and that's gonna be the last step to this holiday look for you guys so basically, I am going to outline my lips with the NYX lip liner, and this is in the shade Plush Red. So I'm going to use that to outline my lips. So I hope that I can capture this on camera for you guys. Okay, so this little lipstick sample is from Bare Minerals and it is in the shade VIP and I thought that it would be this gorgeous red to do, use for this holiday look. So I'm going to go ahead and coat my lips with this and we'll be done. I love the smell of Bare Minerals. It just smells so good. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just like this like nice, beautiful, sweet scent and I love it. And this is like literally one of my favorite formulas. It's just so smooth when it glides on. Alright, so this is the completed look for this holiday glam tutorial. And I hope you guys really liked it. If you guys have not subscribed, down below and click that notification bell so that you never miss a video. I will be posting every Sunday for you guys, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And yeah, I'll leave all the information for this look down below for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and have a blessed holidays. Bye guys!